Okay, so besides keeping track of the sales rate of your items and keeping track of what sells, what doesn't, making changes, putting in similar products to increase variety and extend your service times, you can also put in products in a machine that have long shelf life, especially if you've taken this account for some reason. Um, like we've discussed in the secure area of the website in the sales section, there's a number of reasons to take an account that's a slower account and it's still going to be profitable for you. Um, or to have a machine there that where that machine's not profitable, the rest of the account maybe is. And maybe that's your snack machine. So there's some things you can do to help with the problem of expiring product in a slow selling snack machine. One of the things you can do, um, put in cup of soups. People like cup of soups. They take up a lot of space in your machine. Um, so, you know, that's a detractor. A column only holds six, but if it's a slow moving machine anyways, to have six in there, it's okay. You're probably not selling six of everything in the machine anyways. And these have often a nine month shelf life. So it's something you can put in the machine. It's a slow seller. You're not going to end up throwing it away. A lot of your nuts are good for 10 months or more. And people like nuts. It's a good product. Your customer's happy. And you aren't going to end up throwing product away. Same thing um, with your trail mix. There's a number of chips on the market that have eight-month shelf lives. You put some of those chips in. Obviously, you're going to keep in whatever happens to be selling at that account, whether it's... Uh, hot products, jalapeno products, nacho products, corn products, whatever selling, you're going to keep that in the machine. But for those other columns, if you can't find something that people are buying because of limited use of that machine, then you want to put in something that's going to have a long shelf life but still offer variety to the customer, still be a quality product. Doing things like this are going to greatly decrease the amount of expired product you have. That's just lost profit. When you look at profit nationally for vending companies, it is less than 1% is the average net profit of a vending company. For your best performing vending companies, it's about 5%. Those are companies doing two to five million a year in sales. If you're a small operator especially, you're not going to be in that range. You're going to be closer to the 1% range. So if you have an item that sells for a dollar, you're making one penny at your 1% on that item. Now, if you have an item that costs you 40 cents that expires, that means you have to sell 40 other items out of that machine just to break even. So expired product is your bane. It's going to destroy your bottom line. If you have expired product and you have a lot of it, it's almost impossible to make money in the vending industry. And that's why small accounts are a problem because they're harder to make a profit in. And you are more likely to have expired product.